I'm Janet Rodriguez, the founder and CEO of So Harlem. I know most of you, but we do have some new guests, hopefully some industry partners, new funders, um, our developer of the Manhattanville Factory District. They're joining us today. So what I, what I want to say before I turn it over to Henry is that um, this program is really important to us because what we're trying to do is change the story of what it means to, to create things, to make garments. It's not been a good story in this country for a long time. You know, it's factories, you think of sweatshops, you think of bad things. But I think we can all agree from looking at our space and newer spaces today that that's not the, um, the narrative that we're telling. We're saying this is a craft that takes a lot of time to master, it's worth it. Um, you should be paid well for it. You should have good working conditions when you do it. And, you know, that's, that's what we care about. We're very fortunate to have designers like Javier and Olivia and Henry, and I'm sure I'm missing others, who um, are passing on what they know, their skills, their, you know, what design is about, what craftsmanship is about. We're, we're um, creating a pipeline. There's a lot of people who are now working with us who started off in our training program and are now, and are now apprentices with us, like Antonio, who's over there, and Taya, who you've met, who's in the back. And then, of course, we have my personal favorites, our apprentices, um, who all they want to really do is design, and that's Andre in the back, who was, who was featured in Times Square the big bulletin board um, not too long ago, his line. And then, of course, there's Mario Miguelito, whose Void Asylum line has won so many awards. And he recently won a recent award to be mentored by Rebecca Minkoff, right? Um, with a $25,000 grant. So that that's a big you know, accomplishment and his work deserves every every single dime and more. And then there's Trey, who's probably, there he is. And if you noticed our window, that beautiful couture piece was made by this very young 20 year old, it was his very first piece. So he continues to um, apprentice with us. I'm gonna turn it over to Henry. Henry, the man of patience, what he does the individual, the individual attention he gives to every single trainee here is, I don't, I don't know how he does it, but he definitely has a place in heaven. And um, I'll let turn it over to him. I'm gonna make sure that when I pray tonight, I'm gonna tell God that Janice said <laughs> that I have a place in heaven. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Give yourselves a hand. <clears throat> so you all have survived 12 weeks. I believe it's 192 hours of me. That, that, that's, 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 that's a lot. You know, we've covered many things, textile, hand sewing, uh, pattern drafting, cutting, sewing, taking out, sewing again, taking out, sewing again, taking out, sewing again. And, and, and you all have exceeded my expectation. You know, I've been at this for quite some time. And this five group session has been, I believe, the best since we've started. I love what I do. I'm not motivated by money to do what I do. I do what I do because I'm inspired to help other people's dreams come true. That's my payment. And if there's anything that I could do to help bring that to fruition, that's why I am the man. <laughs> That just seemed to flow pretty good right there. You know? <laughs> but, but, but 
again, I, I'm, I'm extremely proud of you all, you know, and I hope that you all walk away from this experience <clears throat> with your heads held high, feeling this up, 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 up. Come on to the front, sister. So this is another design. This is Sydney. This is her custom-made outfit. And you can see my name going down the side when you... When you, when you but again, th this group has been one of the best groups that I've been able to to spend time with. Uh, I know they got tired of me at times, <clears throat> but they laughed at my corny jokes. Uh, they put up with me saying, mm, over and over and over again, which meant take it out and do it again. Uh, but again, in the end, you know, they've all have made a beautiful garment, a wearable garment, a garment that they can be proud of or that they should be proud of. Uh, it's important for me that I train people that are capable of leaving here and going and find employment. Uh, this was just the beginning. You, know, you have to find an environment or find an organization that's willing to meet you where you are and then whatever challenges they have for you to learn, to be able to produce the garment in their method in the way that they want you to make it, that that would only help make you better at what you do. Please don't stop here. Please don't put the sewing machine, the cover on the sewing machine at home, put it in the corner somewhere, put it in the closet somewhere and say, I'm done. This was just the beginning. It's important that you stay at the sewing machine as much as possible. It's important that you do hand sewing as much as possible. It's important that you practice, practice, practice. I am where I am simply because I spent a lot of time at the sewing machine. I spent a lot of time messing up. I spent a lot of time breaking needles. Sewing seems in the wrong way, making mistakes. But the more you do it, the better you become at it. You, know, you all are evident of that. So we have some certificates here, which is the evidence of your completion of our pre-apprentice training program. So we're going to present you with the certificates. I'm going to ask you to say a few words. I have some envelopes in my pocket, so please remember to say how good I am. <laughs> all right? and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'll slide you the envelope on your way out the door. All right? You feel me? All right, cool, cool, cool. So we also have a book signed by Dapper Dan for each one of you. Uh, I do encourage you to read his story. It's a very, very interesting story uh, to let you see how a man can first make a mistake copying someone else's product, benefiting off of it financially, getting caught, losing everything as a result of it. But he didn't give up. He started over. And he started over the second time doing it the right way. So it's very, very important that for you all as future designers and creators to know the cost of copying someone else's product and trying to benefit from it. That there's a price to pay for that. All right? All right, so the first one is Miss Christine Walker. Give her a hand as she comes up. Now, Thank you for this great opportunity. Um, coming in here, I was super nervous because I haven't used a, I hadn't used a sewing machine ever. Um, I've done some hand stitching, but clearly my hand stitching was terrible. Um, so this opportunity has really opened my eyes and really made me want to continue my education in which I've learned here. Um, Looking forward to a brighter future, and I want to say thank you so much for being the awesome teacher and having you heard that? <laughs> slide me my envelope. Um, <laughs> thank you for being the the man, the awesome teacher, the the one who has all the answers to every weird question, making sure that we everything was beautiful. Because that's, that was, if he said it was beautiful, then that means you did it right. So, just want to say thank you, and thank you for this opportunity. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, you know, in every, I've learned that in every organization, 
there is always one person that's just like that thorn in your side. You know, that, that, just, that, just, that, that, just, that just challenges you to no end, you know, to make sure that you know what you know. This person just got to challenge you. I mean, I love her. She, 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 she's a great inspiration. Erica Rivera Granado. <laughs> Give her a hand, y'all. Congratulations. Thank you. I will say thank you for the opportunity to Ms. Janet, Mr. Henry, Lewis, and everybody in the organization. Um, I was really looking forward to doing this program last, the last round ago, but I wasn't able to do it. Um, but I was glad that they did call me back to come and be a part of it. I don't regret not one piece of it. Um, I learned a lot. Um, growing up, I wanted to be a fashion designer. And my path went a, a different direction. I started working with kids, and then I went and get opportunities for fashion because I didn't have no experience. Um, so this was a way for me to get them back in my path of what I wanted to do growing up. And my future goal is to start my own um, lingerie line. So I'm looking forward to keep going. And as you say, diversity is my name for my line. And I'm looking forward to keep going forward. I want to thank Mr. Henry for being patient. Yes, I do. I asked a lot of questions. And I'm glad he had the patience to be like, all right, Erica. <laughs> you know, I, he did make me take things off a whole lot of time. <laughs> But I'm glad he did because he showed me that, no, that's not the way you do it. This is how you do it. And, you know, it wasn't like, well, just leave it, you know. He didn't give up, and he kept saying, no, that's not the way. So I want to thank you. Absolutely. This next gentleman is Mr. Cleveland Gitt, who is an awesome designer. He's like a knife among many just requires sharpening, and I hope that this experience has sharpened him just a little bit more than he was prior to coming here 12 weeks ago. Brother Cleveland. Congratulations, man. This is a great opportunity uh, coming into this. I think I've said this before with the class. Um, I felt like Mr. Henry had like the expertise of like a French chef. Doc George, and I was there like Rachel Ray with my YouTube experiments and things I learned in the past, and uh, you know, he definitely upped my standards and taught me how to do things the right way. So, thanks. So the last young lady, and I saved her for last for for a reason because. It, I believe that you ought to always prepare the path for the next generation. You, know, you ought not be selfish uh, and just keep everything for yourself. You know, when you see uh, potential uh, drive in an individual, you ought to target that to help make them better. You know, my desire for Sydney Cleveland that she would be one day standing in this position training and equipping people to do better than I did. So, so Sydney, congratulations. Um, I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Um, it's actually kind of crazy that I even got an opportunity like this. I feel like it's hard to find um, opportunity in the fashion world. Um, and it's also hard to find a community of people that are amazing to work with and a professor that pushes you and helps you convey your ideas and things like that. So very grateful for the, for the opportunity. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Again, I'm grateful. I'm humbled. You know, I hope that you again. I hope that you all are really, really uh, happy about your 12 weeks of learning. And again, definitely don't stop. You know, there are multiple opportunities out there for you all. 
to find employment with a livable wage and just move forward and just continue to continue to keep the cycle going. There's some food outside that we that I that I that I that I, that I, <clears throat> that I cooked all night long just to prepare the food for you all. You know. <laughs> so thank you all. Enjoy the food that's that's prepared. I gotta get a selfie with all of y'all. Don't leave without my selfie.